Hey guys, my name is Stanley Cohen and this is my CS122A final project for uh, fall quarter of 2016. Um, and this is the Rubik's Cube solver. So the first step of the solver um, is to get the state of the cube using a Raspberry Pi and the Pi camera. And to do that I'm using OpenCV. So when I run the program, um, let me wait a second here because the Raspberry Pi is a little bit slow but it'll ask me to place the side orange, green, red into the camera. And so we have the side orange, green, red, and so I'll place it under the camera. And so as you can see, um, I'm gonna get the cubes into the little squares in the camera, and then dynamically it's gonna look and try to figure out which color the cubies are in those little squares. So once I have it, I'll press enter, and it'll ask for the next side, green, red, blue, so I'll go for green, red, blue. There's green, red, blue. Go for the next side. So once I've written everything from the cube, um, I can type done and then hit enter and the cube will be processed. And so here we have the cube string and then here we have the solution set of moves to solve the cube. And then right here we have the solution set for my machine. So um, given the cube, uh, U2 will be up twice right prime will be right counterclockwise, right up, front twice, up twice, right twice, right left, down, back prime, up prime, front, back twice, up twice, down prime, right twice, down prime, back twice, up, right twice, down, and then left twice, right? So that's the solution to the cube right there. Um, but my machine can only make uh, front, right, back, left turns, and so I had to figure out a way to accommodate my cube, and so I made up a move called uh, left, right, cube flip, which is right here, or a front, back, cube flip, which will look like that. So I had to keep track of the state of the cubes and what was on each face, and then the solution for my machine is right here. So the solution, the actual solution that I just used was 21 moves, and the solution for my machine is 28. So the solution for the machine ends up being between 5 and 10 moves longer, um, which is not bad. So once the set of solutions has been found, um, I can send the moves over one by one over SPI from the Raspberry Pi to the microcontroller. So I can send a couple over right now just to show. Um, so I'll be sending over move four, and I can send over like move seven, and then pressing this button here will execute the moves currently in the move queue. So I'm going to press the button to execute the moves, and the moves will be executed. So the one portion of this project I didn't end up getting working was these solenoids here. Um, ideally, the claw would make a turn and the solenoid would pop it out and then it would correct itself and then pop back in. Um, but these solenoids ended up taking too much uh, amperage, um, too much current, so I couldn't get them running. Um, but this is something that I'm definitely going to be working on in the future. Yeah, thank you.